So I saw this yesterday and I thought this was really cool because it's nice to see this. Steven Spielberg rejected Jaws reboot idea. I think that's great. Basically, they're not going to be able to take another classic and find a way to ruin its name with some kind of horrible, fully politically charged reboot. I can only imagine how they would make this uh, some kind of woke vehicle. I would say maybe the great white shark might have something to do with it. I don't know. They would find some way to introduce intersectional feminism into a movie about a gigantic shark, I'm sure. Uh, But Steven Spielberg said no, and this immediately made me think about Indiana Jones and just how horrible Indiana Jones 5 probably will be. Now, see, the difference between this movie and Indiana Jones is that movie is going to keep going, unfortunately. Indiana Jones 5 writer says Steven Spielberg quit as director because his ideas, well, they just didn't work. But we'll come back to this. I've only seen this movie thing be rejected one other time. I'm sure there's been more, but uh, Back to the Future. There'll never be a Back to the Future reboot or remake. Not as long as the people that made the movie, I think particularly Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale, uh, they have some kind of controlling rights. I'm not really sure how this works because I believe the studio actually owns these, but some movies have somehow, like the creators, the people that directed it and produced it or whatever, wrote it, they have rights that aren't that, you know, these movies can't get sequels or get rebooted. So back to the future, as long as the, as long as Bob and, and Zemeckis are alive, you won't see this get destroyed with a remake. And it's the same thing with, with Jaws. So Jaws, any kind of Jaws reboot, not happening. This makes me happy because I'm really tired of Hollywood remaking stuff and rebooting stuff because Nine times out of ten, the movies are shit. Okay? And it's nice to see them. You want to see Jaws? Go see the original. You want to see Back to the Future? Go see the original. You don't need to see a reboot. You'll get some modern effects, but you also get a shitty movie. Plot will be terrible. It'll be woke as hell. I don't think so. No thank you. But I saw this, and I thought this... I thought this is really interesting. So he walks away from Indiana Jones, but he shuts this down. So my question is how horrible is Indiana Jones five that made him want to quit being the director? Like, I don't want my name. Well, I think he's still an executive producer, but what the, what the F does that even mean? Little secret. Well, not a secret, but in case you didn't know this, uh, Tim Burton was an executive producer on Batman forever. Uh, it was That was pretty much a name only from what I understand. And this will probably be a name only as well. I don't think Steven Spielberg wants anything to do with this damn movie. And, you know, when they cast Phoebe Waller-Bridge, it kind of becomes clear where they're taking this. I don't know if you know who that is. I've done a video on her before, but she's a very, very woke woman. And she's also been hired to modernize... James Bond. So when you see a lot of eyebrow raising during No Time to Die, which you should be doing because everything about that movie screams, we're going to make James Bond the joke of the movie uh, because he's just an outdated old white man. It kind of looks like that's the same thing that's going to happen to Indiana Jones 5. Uh, It's pretty clear that they want to continue that franchise. I would be willing to bet Phoebe Waller-Bridge will be, will be replacing him and she will be the new in Indiana Jones successor. But I would be willing to bet that Harrison Ford is going to really just, this his character is going to be disrespected sometime, somehow. Because why the hell else would he leave this movie? 
Okay. And when you when you listen to this quote, listen to this. Steven Spielberg stepped down as director of Indiana Jones 5 due to trouble behind the scenes. It's been revealed in February 2020. The filmmaker announced he would not be overseeing the project as he wished to pass the character's legacy on to a new generation. However, screenwriter David Nope has admitted creative differences over the script also inspired the movie. I tried a couple different versions with Steven and they all had the same good stuff about them, and they all had the same stuff that didn't work, which happens, he told Den of Geek. But it was just very hard to have everybody come together all at once and have all of the elements, Stephen, Harrison, the script, and Disney, and it didn't. Now, don't forget, uh, all signs point that this is Catherine Kennedy's baby. Not just content destroying Star Wars, she already got to find a way to destroy Indiana Jones, even though that movie that I won't acknowledge about the aliens that he did, uh, that did a pretty damn good job of kind of screwing around with the character. But now it seems like they're going to nail that that they're going to nail that coffin shut. So saying, oh, you know, Stephen was the problem. Why would you work with Stephen? You know, why would you turn down a legendary filmmaker's influence? To move forward, like, okay, well, we'll go with this guy's script. Who the f who the F is David Nope? I know who Steven Spielberg is, a legend. Why don't you let him just have his ideas move forward? But no, they got rid of him. They're so dedicated to this that they say, well, F it. We don't need Steven Spielberg. So, yeah, I'm a little worried about this movie. Okay, but I'm happy that this movie isn't going to happen. At least not while Steven Spielberg is alive. After that, they can probably do whatever they want. But for now, one franchise is safe. So that's pretty much it. I just, you know, I'm worried about Indiana Jones 5. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a shit show. Uh, and I'm glad that this movie's at least not getting made. Anyway. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.